Today's video is brought to you in collaboration with Backswing.com, a golf publication offering insight from top pros for the game of golf. Visit Backswing.com today to help fix your game. Okay, welcome back. Today we have another cool question coming to us from Backswing.com, and the question is, I've got this uphill wedge shot around the green. How do I hit this shot, and how do I control the distance? All right, so we're gonna talk about that, but the first thing I want you to do is take your lob wedge and get rid of it. We don't need that for this shot. This hill is gonna make the ball come out high, and if I hit it with a lob wedge, I see it too often that too many of you are hitting it halfway to the hole from here with the lob wedge just because you can't judge the distance. Get rid of the lob wedge, take something with less loft, and let's try to hit the shot with that. All right, with that said, I am gonna show you how to hit this shot. There's, there's pretty much two variations we wanna use here. So I'm gonna pull the camera around so you can get a good view of what I'm doing. We're gonna talk about how to hit these shots, how to control distance. Okay, before we get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little bell for notifications so you can see more great videos just like this one. All right, again, so as you can see here, I've got a pretty severe upslope to contend with. We're trying to figure out how to control the distance on this shot to hit this ball close to the hole. So again, there's two options here. The first one is probably the easier technique and the one I'd recommend more often. Now, what we wanna do is again, my philosophy with chipping is let's, let's try to get that ball low and rolling as quickly as possible. And even from this lie, we can achieve that. So option number one for this shot, we are going to maintain our normal tilts in our chipping setup. In other words, I am not going to lean with the slope. I'm gonna maintain my normal tilts and I'm going to stick the club into the side of the hill. I'm gonna almost jab at it here. So what that's gonna do, and I've got my 50 degree wedge here, that's my gap wedge. That's gonna pop this ball up over this lip, get it rolling quickly and hopefully rolling out towards the hole. So I'm not gonna change a whole lot from there. You know, my, ch my chipping style does not vary from hole to hole. Basically, if you've seen my videos before, you know I like to set up with my arms in my club shaft in a lowercase y position. And I'm trying to maintain that position back and through without any flip. Remember, if we flip, we're adding loft to the shot, and that's when we're gonna struggle with distance control. So this is gonna make it super simple to get some decent distance control as long as I maintain the shape of that Y. And just remember, again, we're going to be jabbing that club into the side of the hill, so we're really not gonna get much follow through. Big mistake I see a lot on this shot is the player does not use their body well. You know, most of my weight's on my right foot here just because I can't get much weight on my left foot. So most of my weight's on my right foot and most people don't turn well from there. So just try to force yourself, turn your body through the hit. Don't get all handsy on me. We're gonna hit this, hit this shot with our core rotation and let's see what happens, all right? So, I'm gonna set up with the ball in its normal position, just back of center. I've got a nice wide stance just to support my body here. And my focus here is my lowercase y. All I'm gonna think about is pivot back, pivot through, and let's see what happens. So we're gonna stick this club right in the side of the hill. Perfect. Yeah, really good. All right, so the second shot is a bit more difficult and that's why I always recommend going with option one when you have room on the green. So what we need to do here is tilt our body into a position such that we're swinging up the slope without digging into the side of the hill, All right? Again, we're still ditching that lob wedge. Sand wedge is gonna give me plenty of loft here. I'm gonna hit this ball super high. It's gonna stop within just a few feet of landing. What I do here is actually open up the face a little bit to avoid digging into the side of the hill. Again, my feeling here is I'm just trying to shave grass up the hill without digging into the side of the slope. All right, so when I hit this shot, I've got all my weight on my back foot. I've got tons of secondary spine tilt away from the target. In effect, trying to feel like I'm matching my shoulders to the slope here. All right, a couple of bonus tips here. Grain of grass tends to grow downhill, so we're almost always swinging into the grain on these uphill lies. 
All that means is that grass is gonna grab our club head really easily, making it hard to slide through. So we've gotta put a little bit of extra speed into this shot. We're already getting extra loft, which requires extra speed. Now we know the grass is grabbing my club, which requires more speed. The other bonus tip is this ball is gonna tend to jump to the left off the club face. Most uphill lies do for a right-handed golfer. Jump left. This is no exception here. So I'm gonna aim just right of the hole. I'm gonna try to match my shoulders to the slope. And I'm gonna try to swing up the hill without digging in. Let's see how we do here. And that is sky high. Just now landed next to the hole. And I got about three feet of roll. I got about a nine foot putts. Pretty good there. <laughs> 